Vintage Sound 93.1 FM, Tony Tone 759 from the Unity Point Health Studios. At the radio station, we get a lot of people through the door. We also take a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails, Facebook messages. There's always things going on in and around Muscatine. But it is rare that we get a phone call from a guy who I believe at the time, uh, Bill Connor was on his bicycle. Where did you call us from yesterday, Bill? Do you remember exactly where it was? Uh, 30 miles out. Okay. So in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so Bill Connor calls the radio station and says, hey, my name is Bill. I'm riding a bicycle from Madison, Wisconsin to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm going to be in Muscatine relatively soon trying to find a place to stay for the night. Maybe a a hot meal, and then you're back on the road in just a a few hours or minutes this morning. So that's not a call we get all the time, (laughs) as you can imagine. Well, it was short notice, but it's um, just a part of uh, the journey that I'm on. Uh, Obviously, it's 26 plus 2,600 miles. Wow. And uh, a little over 200 into it. I come in into town and... uh, uh, the the McGreers were kind enough to help me out with that with mm-hmm. uh, Paulette and Brett and their daughter Kelsey uh, took me in and um, it it made the trip the way that it should be right it, uh, staying in a hotel room doesn't work sure you don't uh, you don't get anything authenticity out of that but uh, yeah uh, Mary was kind enough to take my phone call and I told her I said I, this is gonna probably be the oddest phone call you've ever had and she says. <laughs> Oh, I doubt that. And then when I got done, she goes like pretty much like, what? Right. <laughs> so so un- unfortunately, tragedy happens when your daughter, Abby, passes away and uh, in January, correct? Correct. January 12th. So how, I mean, obviously there's, I, I mean, I can't imagine the, the grieving and the loss, but what, what sparked the idea? How soon did you think, like, I'm going to hop on the bike and make this ride. I mean, I'm, you have it obviously plotted out very well, but as far as that initial thought about doing it, was it week, day, month? I mean, it was about a week to ten days after. Okay. Uh, I I love riding my bike. Uh, I ride about three thousand miles a, a summer. Wow. And so, the longest ride I've ever done is a little over a hundred miles, but. Uh, I don't know. It was just seemed to, it all came together. It was, it was a simple thing. Uh, I was actually going to the West coast sure, and, uh, that was my first plan. And then I got a phone call, uh, from an organ donation association, mm-hmm. RTI out mm-hmm. of Madison. And they asked me if I'd be willing to ride to Fort Lauderdale to the hospital that took care of my daughter. And that was, that's a no brainer. Wow. So so we can kind of reunite the the doctors and uh, the nurse. We had a nurse uh, that took care of Abby like a queen. Sure. And uh, and just kind of, I'm just carrying the torch. I mean, mm-hmm. this is this is something that if you're listening, uh, and if you're not an organ donor, um, and it's like anything else, you always say I'm going to do it. Well, you can do it online. Um, you just uh, donate life America. Mm-hmm. You can go online. It's free. You don't need to go to the DMV. Um, but in this type of tragedy, um, being a father and seeing my daughter, uh, I'm so proud of her because the decision she made back in high school helped four people live. Wow. And so Abby was an organ donor. Yep. And, and the gift, I mean, it's really the gift of, of life. I mean, I, I have, I have some friends locally who lost their daughter when I don't, I don't even know if she I don't know exactly how old she was Jessica Piney um, maybe under six seven eight years old and eat for years they've done this big event to raise money and awareness for I, I think it's for donate life um, and uh, and she was an organ donor as well so it really is something that you should just do online because if it gets to the point where something happens and you're not a donor they can't right it's too late so with a few seconds online, you could potentially, down the road, save somebody's life or help make somebody's life better. Well, with Abby, if she wasn't, mm-hmm. as, as her parent, her parents, um, we could have donated her organs. Sure. Um, but I, I, it's like anything else. Um, 
Abby, Abby is the hero here, and mm-hmm. it's it's not me. Sure. I mean, she's she's the one that showed me what to do. Mm-hmm. Um, it's quite the uh, it's quite the journey to make by yourself, and be like you said, you're coming to Muscatine, and you're sort of in the middle of nowhere. So you're you're alone with your thoughts, but you have to stay focused on this mission, right? Oh, oh it's <laughs> you have to every stay. pedal, every hill. <laughs> right. uh, um, no, it's. It's it's gonna it's gonna be good. I mean, it's it's not gonna be easy. Sure. Um, the people though that I'm gonna meet along the way um, mm-hmm. is life, and uh, I it's gonna you know by the time I get there, I'll hopefully I'm gonna I've got Abby's ashes with me. Okay. So when we get there in the Atlantic Ocean, um, hopefully I'm not gonna obviously put all their ashes in the ocean, but some mm-hmm. of them, and I can take some of my grief and dump it. Um, but the the amount of people that have reached out to me uh, because the Florida hospital has posted my ride and things and the sure. messages that I've gotten from people even across the uh, over in Europe wow uh, talking about uh, organ donation how it saved somebody in their family mm-hmm. um, but also people that are reaching out and just um, uh, recognizing Abby and, and what mm-hmm. for what she did. It's amazing. I mean, Isn't it incredible, the social giving? So I pull up the GoFundMe page, and in just about two months, the the initial goal, I don't know if it was 12000 or whatever it was, but it's at $10,390. Um, and, and it's so, you know, there's something to be said about people hearing about a story even with no connection and then just being able in a few clicks to contribute. Like that, I think social media has a lot of flaws. Well, <laughs> but one of the good things it can do is get good causes in front of a lot of eyes, in front of a lot of people that can that can react with five, ten, fifteen, twenty bucks. Or if it's not a monetary thing, you can hit share, right, and kind of and get that going. Well, if you can believe this, um, when when my we had to med flight my daughter into Fort Lauderdale mm-hmm. out of uh, Cancun. Um, my son um, and some of her, their friends put up a post, and it was in terms of the um, the med flight was one hundred and twenty some thousand dollars. Wow! So they put up uh, a GoFundMe page, mm-hmm. and in it like blew up. It they uh, for my my ex wife and the campaign, and obviously it was for our family and Abby. Sure. Uh, we they raised over forty eight thousand dollars. Wow, and these are these are this was for just a reach out and mm-hmm. and again my son and of course college kids and the social media what it what it did for our family and obviously that showed the love for Abby and mm-hmm. so but it it's amazing um, this this was uh, the idea in terms of what I did is I broke down each day in terms of um, in terms of what. I, it's going to cost, you know, because I've, I've got a buddy, if you can believe this, that uh, I don't know how much time we have, but it's a short story mm-hmm. that I I went to a party and mm-hmm. back home and I ran into a buddy I haven't seen from high school forever. Sure. He's five, six years older than I am. Um, he retired. He rode from the West Coast to the East Coast okay. over 4,000 miles in 63 days. Wow. And he's not a biker. And I looked at him and I go, I've got to do something like that. Sure. So I, unfortunately, the event with Abby, obviously then all of a sudden that that trip in my mind, and then mm-hmm. Mike Connor is his name. It's O-R, I'm E-R. <laughs> and so I've got all the information I need to go from Madison to the West Coast. I was just going to go backwards, right? Sure. So we're, we connect. Mm-hmm. So I get this phone call about Abby, and i got to fly down to Fort Lauderdale. Mm-hmm. Guess who's standing in front of me in line at the airport? I haven't been at that airport since 1978. Wow. And I go to the airport, and Mike Connor's standing in front of me in front of the line. And I told him, and then it's like it was like meant to be. Wow. So about two weeks later, three weeks later, him and I, we had it all planned out. The RTI, Organ Donation Services, calls me and says, hey, Mm -hmm. would you be willing to change your route? And I go, what are you thinking? Go to Fort, La- Fort Lauderdale, the hospital that uh, took care of Abby. And mm-hmm. I said, absolutely. Wow. Well, a week earlier, Mike took off from San Diego to ride his bike to Florida. Whoa. So I'm going to the 
uh, Baton Rouge. Right. So Mike and I connect again. Wow. And I get to use the information from Baton Rouge to Florida. Holy so cow. Our, I mean, it's wild. the odds of that happen. Right. Um, it's just meant to be. So. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I. It's, you have how many more miles left to Fort Lauderdale? About 2,400. Oh, my gosh. And you're going to experience a whole bunch of different weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't already. Well, the first day was hard, one of the hardest rides I've ever done in my life. Sure. I mean, physically, mentally, it was raining. Mm-hmm. It was cold. It was blowing. Then the sun was out. Then I had a rainbow. <laughs> I was riding on a, uh, a trail that was sandy, Jeez. and it was breaking down because it was damp. Right. And I, I've got a road bike, and I got into I, I got into Platteville Hospital at 7:30 at night, and I left Madison at 10 o'clock. Wow. And I was bushed, but uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit of everything, <laughs> but it'll be worth every every moment. So if you want to contribute, uh, you can do it in a couple ways. GoFundMe.com backslash Abby's dash ride dash uh, four dash life. We'll put it on Facebook. It's already there, but in case you missed it. And then if you want to get more information, RTIDonorServices.org is another good place, right? Right. You could send people there. And um, following the journey. So uh, the plan is to be in Fort Lauderdale. You set off the air like July. July 10th. July 10th. That's if Mother Nature and my body and my bike make it. Do you think by then, Bill, you'll have like an awesome beard? Because I would just let it grow. Well, I, I'm not going to shave until I get there. Good. So For uh, the sake of keeping, I mean, it'll also help your face, right? <laughs> if you have a little scruff. Keep it a little cool. Right, exactly. right. right. So, okay, so in just a few, you're going to hit the road again. And um, where's the next stop on the journey for today or tonight? Uh, or? I'm going into Lomax. Okay. Uh, Lomax and then on Friday, Quincy. Nice. And, and so um, if you know anybody that lives in those cities that might be willing to take me in, um, I don't eat raisins. I'm not drinking beer until <laughs> I get to Florida. <laughs> and... Uh, um, I'm I'm a good house guest, uh, but uh, if you can, if you know anybody that might be able to take me in, um, and I want to make a shout out to the McRears in um, Muscatine, um, Brett Paulette and Kelsey. Again, they took me in, and uh, if you don't know these people, you need to get it on your 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 bucket list. Well, this is a good community that cares an awful lot, and the fact that Paulette can hang out. She's probably going to be a little late to work, so you know. Shout out to Bar Chiropractic and Rehab Clinic. So, well, her so. boss probably just heard right. this, and now right. she knows she's late. <laughs> yeah, we just gave her a nice excuse. Yeah, uh, this is an incredible story, and I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm inspired by your journey, and I know that you're going to get there. And, uh, and and I hope that you'll think of Muscatine fondly, and and maybe when you get back home, and uh, maybe next year, come and do Ragbri right across the state of Iowa. Meet some friends. I don't know how many miles that is. It's like 400 or something. Piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> you could lead the way. Uh, you know, but, one thing before yeah. before we go, sure. I think what's important is I, I'm i sure there's a lot of people that are, come on the radio. And, folks, I can tell you um, there's people that are a lot braver than I am. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a couple on Good Morning America that – they found out that their baby that the mom was carrying didn't have a brain. Mm-hmm. Those people took that baby to full term so they could donate that baby's organs. Wow. That's bravery. That is – so I just don't want people to forget about my daughter. Sure. And this is a part of that, but it's about the organ donation. Absolutely. And one donor, again, can help eight people live. and. Wow. I, in tissue donation, you can help another 40, 50 people live better lives. Jeez. So for a better word, don't be selfish. Mm-hmm. Don't bury things that, that can help other people live. And I know that might be a religious thing with some people or not. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not here to, to doubt that. But this is about helping others. And in a, in a case of a tragedy, even like this, it gives you some... It gives you some positivity out of it in terms of, you know, it might be a tragedy, but what's most important is somebody else is going to live. Absolutely. Well, I'm so glad you shared the story, and I I can't wait to follow you along the rest of the way. And if I realize that I know people in some of these places, I'll absolutely reach out, and um, I hope that you get to meet, continue to meet good people and, and have all these great stories. And 
document them some way because every day is different, right? Right, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for coming in, sir, and, uh, and I hope the ride goes as smooth as possible. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate your time. All right, so we'll get the link out there for the GoFundMe. And again, rtidonorservices.org if you want to learn more info.